Hey you guys, Eddie Collins here for Hobby W's Magazine. First of all, thank you for everyone that's been watching our channel and has subscribed. We definitely appreciate it. And uh, in the spirit of bringing you some fun content, you guys, I'm here to introduce our new friend, June Camo. I met him not too long ago, and when I saw the bus that he's driving and then heard a little bit more about his story, I thought, you guys need to hear this story because it's pretty cool inspirational too especially for people that want to go ahead and uh i don't know get out there and uh, and see things so june thanks for being with us man i yeah, appreciate thank it you. yeah so tell tell everybody you know tell everybody how how did you get into volkswagens first of all and then how did you embark on this adventure okay so um the very beginning i was working as like a leather smith on this little island in the puget sound up near seattle uh, called Vashon Island. I was a leathersmith and like the whole idea was I worked there for one month okay. and then like after like that's like kind of like a trial period if that month goes okay then I go like work there full time and during the first month I was able to live in this little shack on like the owner of the company. Um, no he had a house and he had a little shack and then okay. he's like after the month if I stay I have to find my own apartment and then it the so the month went really well and it was like all right let's go full time with me like working there at the leather company and then we were in like his living room and i still remember to this day it's like i was there like him and his wife were across the table and it's like let's find like an apartment for you to live out of and then the wife's like why don't you live out of a van like jokingly <laughs> like it was not serious i don't think and then so i was like huh and like I guess like I grew up in like Southern California and stuff like that so I was like um, I guess there's always like something with VW buses like okay. the surf culture and stuff I surf like skate and all that uh -huh. um, and then wh I don't know why maybe the romance of like Volkswagens and stuff like that I was like all right I'm not gonna look at anything else other than like oh, a wow. Volkswagen bus kind of thing to live out awesome. of. Awesome. Um, for style, <laughs> like uh -huh. not practicality at all. Uh -huh. um, and then, uh, yeah, my first one was a Bay Window, it was a 78 panel bus that oh, okay. uh, found on Craigslist uh, and never dro drove stick before that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, picked it up in Victoria, BC in Canada. So was, the whole thing was like a full adventure, like kind of going from the <laughs> island and then like I was supposed to stay at my brother's place like in Seattle like okay. that night but then he didn't pick up his phone so I literally slept in a sleeping bag on outside the ferry port and then like I was in yeah I took the boat and then as soon like I had cell signal all the way until I got to like the to Canada okay. and then as soon as I like stepped off the boat there's no signal and I was like how am I supposed to like contact this Craigslist seller guy oh, no. luckily he was in the parking lot or whatever and then <laughs> he drove me to school taught me how to drive stick shift in like 30 minutes or whatever you're kidding and, me. yeah and I learned how to like uh, I, I like sew. like that's like something that I do that's what I was doing at the leather company and stuff okay. like that so like I guess like the clutch and all that it was, it was pretty easy but Victoria is BC is like a very chilly place uh -huh. but I don't know if it's like just Canadians or like the Volkswagen bus, but nobody was like honking every time I stalled on a hill. And They're stuff just like nicer. That. Yeah. <laughs> They're so nice up yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So that was like kind of the very beginning of like that thing. And I lived out of that for like about eight months or so. Oh um, my gosh. And, but that was like kind of not like the van life per se. Like uh -huh. I was just using it as a bed. Like the, the studio I was working out of making like uh, wallets and backpacks or whatever. Like. Uh -huh. Wi-Fi, running water, refrigerator, like bathroom, like okay. everything kind of thing. Uh -huh. um, and then essentially, like long story short, I ended up like leaving that whole thing because uh, I moved in, I moved to Denmark to like live with my ex-girlfriend uh, hey, now. Hold up. <laughs> you left Washington and went to Denmark. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. That's a big jump. <laughs> it is, it's a huge jump, yeah, yeah. Okay. And that was like me saying goodbye to like that, uh, the bay window, it was really sad, like watching it like oh, no. turn the corner, like to the new owners and stuff. I think like they had a Subaru engine that they were gonna like uh, swap into that thing or whatever. So, um, and then so like, I guess like, there was like a weird taste in my mouth of like, unfinished business like I never did uh, like I mean with that one I did like a road trip from Seattle down to Irvine and then back and that's like, cool the okay. only thing that like really went down was the points like wore out like two times kind that's of thing awesome. but that's, that's pretty, pretty reliable yeah, yeah. little did I know the tires were 17 years old and like <laughs> like I was going down PCH on the cliffs and stuff and it's like hmm like ignorance is bliss kind of thing I only found out till I was in Santa Ana at a shop and they're like yo like <laughs> tires are no good like not not cool yeah 
Um, and it's kind of funny when you don't know, you just kind of, okay, there yeah. we go. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, like, I didn't know, like, a lot of stuff. And then, uh -huh. um, yeah, so that was, like, kind of, like, the, the beginnings of, like, the Volkswagen thing. Uh -huh. And then if we go on to this thing. Um, yeah, so wait, so, so Denmark, uh -huh. and then you ended up coming back. Uh, kind of, like, okay. broke up. And uh -huh. then, like, I, I actually went to school in the UK, so I went back to the UK for a little bit. There's a whole story there, but I don't want to like <laughs> got it, got it. Get into that. Like, uh, no, but it was good. Like, I was in the U uh, UK for like six months or whatever, uh -huh. hanging out with friends, staying with friends, and then I lived in New York City, and then I moved back here, but I was in Oceanside, and then I was in Boston. Like, so I'm kind of, <laughs> yeah. Like, I lived in Boston the last four years, um, and okay. I was working at like a desk job kind of thing. And can I ask how old you are? 32 or okay. no 33 now yeah. okay still yeah. 33 years old you guys and this guy's probably seen more of the world than a lot of a lot of people so yeah so you go to boston mm -hmm. yeah so i was working <laughs> a, a design like desk job kind of thing there and uh, uh that was like since i've been hopping around all over the place so i was like all right let's like settle here for like three to five months and essentially like um in the end i ended up like loving boston but like my mental health was like kind of tanking hard whether like i was like i don't know who knows what it is like i think it was like a little bit of loneliness like um whatever and i had like i ended up like seeing my therapist and like during one of her sessions like um she like i was telling her about how i used to live out of the 78 panel bus uh -huh. and she's like this is the most excited and enthused i've ever like heard you talk <laughs> in a therapy session kind yeah of thing. and i was like huh so that planted the seed and then I was like, hmm, should I do the van thing again? Like, <laughs> um, and then, so my immediate like thing was like, all right, start looking on the Samba, look at like all the buses and then start doing research and stuff. Like, I was like, first gonna like go into trying to find like a van again, West Valley kind of thing. Okay. The setup was like perfect, right? Uh -huh. It's like huge, like the pop top, like everything like kind of right. works. And then, but I was like, maybe a bay window, split window, never gonna happen. Too expensive, <laughs> like too hard to find, like it's just, not uh, attainable they're uh, like it's it's ridiculous kind of thing mm -hmm. but it was like a dream but it was like no like that's uh, not meant to happen and then after like going on the samba reading comments and stuff like it was like no like it's not i'm not gonna get a volkswagen because it's not reliable like uh, it's way too expensive to upkeep and it's just dumb kind of thing uh -huh. so i was like all right i'm gonna find like a 2015 like ford or like Nissan NV200, like kind of like a reliable vehicle, right, a responsible right. vehicle kind of thing. <laughs> but I kept going on the Samba every day and at night, like kind of uh -huh. looking like to tease myself. And then I saw this one uh -huh. and then I was like, that's the one. Like, And where was this one when you found it? It was in a place called Lapine, Oregon, which oh, is wow, like okay. 30 minutes south of Bend, Oregon. Okay. Yeah. And where were you at the time? In Boston. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, and I think, <laughs> I don't remember like the sequence of things, like if I already quit my job or whatever, but like essentially I had like my life savings and like this thing was too expensive. I couldn't afford it, uh -huh. but I emailed like the guy and I was like, hey, like, <laughs> I want your bus. I can't afford it. I'm willing to like put my life savings into it. Uh -huh. Like, and then he's like, "Here's my phone number. Give me a call." No way. And then yeah, I had like a phone conversation, and he's like, "All right, I can like knock the price down, like way down, kind of thing." I already That's put awesome. it up for like too much, anyways, kind of okay. thing. But I was just like feeling it out. Mm -hmm. And then essentially like I put like a third like down without seeing it in person. Okay. Because that's kind of what I did with the um, the first bus. Like okay. I like bought it sight unseen kind of uh -huh. thing. And, and then not I, knowing how to drive stick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then so yeah, essentially like that's kind of like the origin stories of it. Like yeah, like spent most of my life savings, spent like a third of it without seeing it. And then like I arrived and he picked me up from the airport in the bus. And Dude. I was like, what did I do? Like, this no is such way. a mistake. Like, <laughs> why did I do? It's like, just like super loud and rickety. Like, and I don't know, I guess I've been in like, taking public transit for the last four years in Boston. And stuff, right, so I right. forgot like what like cars and driving were all about. Um, but yeah, so I was like, oh, what the heck? Like. Yeah. And then I slept in it that first night, like on this property kind of thing oh, already, right. kind of thing. Okay. Um, with everything open, actually, uh -huh. like Pop Top was probably up and like all that, like, because uh -huh. I just felt really safe. Like he has like land and then, um, so that's kind of like the beginnings of That's so cool. That and how long ago was that? That was only four or five months ago, probably wow. five months. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very so not cool. long. Yeah. 
Very cool. And so that was in Oregon. Mm -hmm. And then, so now it's got Washington plates. Did you end up going back to Washington? Uh, I only like registered it there because um, like my brother lives there. And okay. I was like, all right, like I can use his address to like, kind of like throw mail at and all that yeah. kind of stuff. So, and I was like kind of <laughs> trying to avoid like paying a lot for like registration fees. Cause uh -huh. I was like, California, my parents live there or Washington. No, California is way more. Yeah. And then turns out Washington was equally as bad kind of thing. <laughs> and everyone, the mechanics and everyone's like, why'd you do that? Like you're yeah. supposed to lie. Like yeah. uh, how, like the purchase price or whatever. And I was like, oh, like, oh well. Yeah. I like it, I like yeah, it. Yeah. So you, you're definitely one of these uh, last minute decision makers, but when you go, you <laughs> dive in. I mean, you really kind of, do. Like, yeah, I yeah. mean, I'm impressed. I mean, yeah. it seems like definitely an educated decision, mm -hmm. you know, but I mean, it, that's that's so wild that you actually got to the airport and got in it and you mm -hmm. just thought, oh no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but now you're in it, you know? Exactly. Which yeah. is so cool. Mm -hmm. So no, this, this is awesome, you guys. These are the kind of stories that when you start thinking about, you know, adventure, maybe you're at a certain point in your life where you're kind of thinking, ah, you know, I'm just unsatisfied or something's, you know, something's not clicking. Volkswagens, man, they always come in, you know, they always come in. And I think, I think that's really cool that you kind of had a, this calling, you mm -hmm. know, and this, this, this bus is, is awesome. So, you know, if anything, I think we definitely need to go ahead and get a tour of the bus. So, but as we start, I do want to ask right here, um, explain to us the logo, what they mean. Okay. Well, I guess with like Volkswagens, like everything's a story, right? So, oh, yeah. um, yeah, this front, like, uh, thing, I was, uh, parked in front of my brother's place in Seattle and like, so. I mean, I don't know if it's okay, you could cut this out or whatever, but this bus doesn't lock. Like, <laughs> okay, like, none of the doors, like, lock or anything. You heard that, right? Free sleepovers. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Party time. Um, so if you ever need a place to crash. Um, <laughs> so it doesn't lock, and my brother, like, he, like, lives in, like, uh, I don't know, like, a fairly okay place in Seattle, but he's like, yep, like, things get stolen all the time. Like, he casually says that. I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, like I literally just got there. Like, and I'm like kind of just fresh to the bus and he's like, yeah, like it's normal. Like people just steal things, whatever. And I'm like, what, what if I'm like just sleeping and somebody just opens the door and I'm like, whatever. But anyways, like, uh, yeah, I like slept there. And then I think like the second night, like I visited a friend in Seattle and then like, she was like taking pictures with me and then we wrap around and I was like, oh, my emblem's missing. And then, no. so like, that's probably what happened. Like uh, the emblem got stolen because the previous owner, he didn't screw it in. He just put like uh, like the electrical connector things that okay. perfectly fit and then just like, so he could just like pop it off. And, like, uh -huh. Yeah, and I was like, oh gosh, like that really sucks. Cause that like, yeah. that makes the look. Yeah. Right, right. right. Um, and so, yeah, it was like kind of emblemless for a while. And like, part of me is like, where's the poetry in this? Like yeah. maybe it's like, my labels like who i am as a person is also like kind of swipe clean so like all right like what's going on here like who am i who is the bus like all right. this kind of like identity stuff <laughs> and then uh yeah like i was working as a sign painter um in idaho like and so uh, another worker i'm trying to keep up on your resume yeah. here <laughs> yeah 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 no i'm into like part of the mission of this whole thing is like to try to do work that isn't looking at a computer screen all day kind of thing um, I want to like work with my hands and all that. So I yeah, like um, yeah, I was working in Idaho as a sign painter and um, I got really into like kind of the sign painted buses and stuff, like the really old school stuff. Like even on the Samba, there's yeah. like a lot of like logo and like yeah. buses and stuff that are all patinaed and yeah. the paint's all fading and yeah. stuff. And so yeah, I like kind of was like trying to figure out like a way to like, I, I knew I wanted like something painted on the front, but I was like, what am I gonna do? And uh -huh. then, uh, like what's the name of the bus like I bought the bus and it was Lily but then I guess I didn't like the idea of like having like kind of like a female like name it's like I don't know it's it's like kind of I wanted like more like a genderless like kind of name and like I wanted it to be like Japanese because like that's the culture that I grew up in stuff and then so I was like going through stuff and then like I was like hmm, is it as simple as like air cool like breathing like the engine needs to breathe to like cool off or else it will not like work kind of thing uh -huh. and then Iki sounded like a pretty awesome it was like short it's like really easy to say you can right. say it in English like it's easy for me to type in my phone in Japanese even though I don't like <laughs> type that much in Japanese but uh and it looks like cool in like the the logo and stuff like that yeah. so yeah yeah and so it has it's Iki 
Iki. Iki. Yeah. So in Japanese, and that means air cold. Uh, no, or Iki breathe? means to breathe. To yeah. breathe. All yeah, right. yeah. Um, there you go, you guys. Japanese lesson number one, right there. Yeah, yeah. Also, like, uh, so it means to breathe. Uh, just the word Iki, and then like Ikiru means to live. Okay. And then wow. Ikimasho means to go. So like, what? it's like. You, I want to live out of this thing, like, right. and I want to live, like, uh -huh. I want to live my life, and then, like, let's go, like, hopefully it doesn't break down too, like, <laughs> often, like, kind of keep going, um, and then it's also, like, uh, when I talk to the bus as I'm driving, um, like, how's Iki doing and stuff like that, it's also, like, for myself to, like, like it. it's, like, kind of therapy, almost, right, yeah. like, just, like, I don't know, this doesn't, it doesn't smell right, it doesn't sound right, <laughs> Uh -huh. Like breathe, like kind of chill out a little bit, yeah. like you know. So um, that's kind of like the meaning behind that there. So, that's cool. Yeah. Very, very cool. Mm -hmm. That's it, it's awesome. I, I think it's really cool. Now we got to show everybody the inside mm -hmm. because <clears throat> one of the things that I was like blown away by, and I'm sure we'll get to it as you show mm -hmm. it to us. When especially when you're talking about breathing, is the fact that you guys, this bus has a wood burning stove yeah. inside of it. There's actually a chimney on this thing. <laughs> so. Uh, June, give us give us a little tour. Uh, you lead the way and uh, show us and, and talk about everything. So, sure. Let's check it out, man. Yeah, yeah. Do we do the cockpit area at sure. all? Sure, absolutely. I, mean, I like how he likes it. The cockpit area yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah. I mean, this is like the the front area, and as you can see, there's already like a lot of like wood paneling, like cedar tongue and groove, like on the doors and stuff like that, and like. He put these like kind of walls up, which is kind of nice because you have like you have a, a front window. area. Yeah, have like a little circle window right here. <laughs> um, yeah, and like. Uh, oh, look at this painting. That is really cool. Yeah. Who this, did that? Uh, that's like the previous owner's friend, I think. Wow, like, he's like that's an artist. really cool. Yeah. So that's like a, a bay window Riviera, I think. Which yeah. this is actually a Riviera as well, so like kind of appropriate, but. Nice. Um, yeah, have like a fake little succulent in the ashtray. That was like a little like uh, my the previous owner put that there just um, because like as an ode to his sister. I like um, it. And then I'm a noodle head. I love ramen, so there's like a ramen thing like hanging off like the the you, mirror that you know our editor of Javi W is. Yeah. He's a ramen freak. <laughs> okay, that works out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you should yeah. go together sometime. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, that's like the the front area. I got the safaris and stuff like that. So. For a while, like, um, I think, like, oil got on the heater box and stuff, and, of course, really? I'm, like, inhaling all the fumes, so uh, safari's out, and then... There you go. At least you I don't think I'm going to die of carbon monoxide. Um, so, oh, my gosh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, of course, like, these things are known to <laughs> rust out, so... Uh, the previous previous owner like that's just slapped cool. a bunch of license plates. <laughs> that awesome. so, uh, gives a little awesome. character right yeah, there. I love the fact that you've got your Bentley manual and yeah, you've yeah. got your idiot manual. Yeah, here. exactly. That yeah. is cool. Yeah, very Look important that, to have these things too. I never seen the hardcover. You never seen a hardcover, really? Oh, this one. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Maybe they started it. I've never seen a hardcover either. Yeah. Maybe it's a new edition. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see inside. Yeah. This is the only one that locks, but to unlock it, I have to. <laughs> you don't have to show how to steal the car. I know, right? Yeah, well, the previous owner, in a d different YouTube video, like, oh, really? he had a bay window. He uh -huh. doesn't have it anymore, and he's uh -huh. like, if y'all want to steal it, my keys are right here. No and, way! Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's funny. So, that is funny. Yeah. So. And now this is, uh, what year is this? Uh, 67. Okay, very yep. cool. I like yeah. it. So the last year of the split. Hey, guys, tour. check this out. All right, June, show us, talk to us. Um, I guess like I could save the best for last, but yeah. Um, on the door panels, we also have like a cedar tongue and groove, and then there's like a nice little like section here. To, like you have your instant noodles, like all your like seasoning and all that, um, and Dude, yeah, that sunscreen, is rad. whatever. Um, and then all these windows have like uh, blackout curtains and stuff that are tied off with like leather so that like it keeps heat in and also like when the lights are on on the inside you can't really see like really? from the outside yeah it's like pulled. blackout curtains that's yeah. awesome yeah 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 but it's not rustic <laughs> too you know yeah. has like a canvasy vibe yeah oh totally yeah, but I love the I love the little ties mm -hmm. yeah uh, and then wow. yeah so this is like the kitchen area so. Here you have like a six gallon water tank, five gallon propane tank that like heats these uh, nice. two wood, uh, two burner stoves, I guess. Uh, Unbelievable. Yeah, have like the water pump thing. Um, gotta have your Listerine, because if I don't brush my teeth, <laughs> like there's that. Uh, I have like storage in here, so that's like kind of like pots, pans, and 
like random trinkets. It's like kind of messy in there at the moment. That's but... not still yogurt down at the bottom. No, no, this is empty. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah go that'd down. be kind of gross. <laughs> yeah, but I have kept yogurt in this thing unrefrigerated. There's no refrigerator in here, but okay. I've been in this bus like down to 12 degrees. So the whole thing's like pretty much like a refrigerator. <laughs> um, and then uh, you have this bay window pop top. Okay. So this like thing, like, uh, just so oh, you can wow. stand up and straight while you're wood cooking. Paneling too. Yeah, wood Dude, paneling on rad. the top. Um, and that then, opens. That's a closet. Yeah, yeah. So like food and stuff like go in there. That uh, is so cool. Yeah. So that's like one pantry, and then there's like more like space right there. That is awesome. Yeah, and then this thing like comes down. So yeah, the whole thing <laughs> can actually be closed off so that like you can't be seen from the outside. Uh, this little platform here is really good for like putting all your ingredients and stuff while you're cooking. And then you have like your cutting oh, board, nice. that, like so you can like chop. It's like you're kidding me. Yeah, yeah. Super, you super are useful. kidding me. That yeah. is so cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That um, is awesome. Yeah, and then uh, yeah, I got like a whole like living situation here. So I've had like multiple people like sitting here to like eat and stuff. It's like a nice cozy cabiny atmosphere. Um, and then yeah, like wow. I guess like the cool one of the coolest parts is this wood burning stove situation. No way! Yeah. This is nuts. Is this this tile here? Yeah, it's tile just to oh. keep the heat from like burning oh. the whole thing oh. down. Open it up, show. It. Yeah, yeah. So there's like uh -huh. definitely yeah, there's wood in there, burnt up and everything. Yeah, um, and I definitely use this in the mornings, like uh, yeah, or at night if it gets like really cold and stuff. Uh, yeah, I worked as like a carpenter's assistant, so we had like tons of scrap wood, and we have like an axe right here, so that you can like, I could chop all the scrap wood into like small enough chunks to like throw in there. So, that is so, so cool. Yeah. I mean, look at the chimney. That's so funny. So, do people ever have you had anybody say, "Hey, man, there's smoke coming from your bus"? You know. I guess. Uh, yeah, I park it in places like if I'm gonna be parking in a neighborhood, then yeah, like. I'll refrain from using it. But okay. if I'm in like a more outdoorsy like kind of place, then uh -huh. there's usually not people that will ask. But the, it's either the, the chimney or the tires. Those are the two things that people like tend to ask about like when they first really? see the bus. Oh, yeah. that's so funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Because I guess people are used to seeing like a little bit more like road right, like, tires, right. not like chunky, like BP off-road tires. And right. Stuff. But yeah, the chimney, they're like, what? Like, <laughs> is there a wood burning stove? I'm like, yes, there is. So. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. That is really, really, really cool. Yeah. Well, this this thing's a trip. I mean, like I said, when I first saw it, I thought, what? You're kidding me. Mm -hmm. You know, roof rack, obviously, you know, this thing folds out into a bed. I yeah. love the amount of storage that this bus actually yeah. has. I, I mean, it's so crazy. Yeah. Every little cabinet opens mm -hmm. up. Yeah. And I dig the... Uh, just the style of it yeah, is really, really cool. Yeah, the shingle looking thing, yeah. Yeah. So all my clothes go in there. This is all like the tools like for the engine and all that. Um, That's awesome. Yeah. Look at this, you guys. What yeah. What a view. And there's also like this like storage up here as well, which is like useful for little random trinkets. And wow. Stuff. Yeah. That is really, really neat. Yeah. Yeah, you and the view's pretty good, yeah, when I wake up and stuff, yeah. And That's then you can like, like my head's usually here when I'm sleeping. Mm. And then like the angle is just like perfect. So if I'm like on like a slight hill, uh -huh. I can stargaze like. Oh, it's, that's it's so cool. Bad, yeah. You know, I, I love your little banner there that says wherever you are, make sure you're there. Yeah. 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 I have you like know? a buddy in the UK. Like she actually made that for me. That's so, so cool. Yeah. That is, I'm, I'm very, very, very impressed. This this is cool. You know what's funny is you could probably rent this thing out mm. and for people to go and enjoy for a weekend. I mean, if they could drive it. it, yeah, if they could drive it, huh? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you could meet them at the airport. Yeah. teach them how to drive stick. You know, this is how you fix it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, yeah. this is cool, man. June, congratulations. Seriously, yeah, I think uh, it, it, it's impressive your your journey, your story, and uh, you know, I'm afraid to ask what's next, but yeah. is there a next? What? what where are you off to? Are you going back up north? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like in the springtime, like essentially I had to come down, uh, come down to Southern California for a wedding, okay. uh, which I like already attended. So that's like kind of out of the way. And then like, I wanted to just be down here for the winter time just to, you know, the better weather, yeah. surf and all that kind of stuff. Uh -huh. um, and then I think like the, 
like in the next month I kind of want to like after the bus bus has issues always has issues I want to like sort those out like kind of yeah. check out what it's like kind of more in like the San Diego area like okay. live out of it in like San Clemente oh, like yeah. Encinitas Lucadia yeah. that kind of area yeah. just I like, can surf and yep. like kind of I can't afford to live here but right. yeah I want to just like see what it's like kind of oh. uh, you know do like a couple weeks here and there kind of thing um, and then I'll be going back up to Idaho, like, uh, to keep working on this log cabin that I'm helping building, or ha helping to build, and then uh, do the sign painting thing, which is only two hours away from the job really? site of the log cabin thing. Okay. Um, and then, like, eventually I do want to, like, head over back to, like, the East Coast and go to Boston for, like, a little bit, but okay. we'll see. Like, wow. the, cool, the, the cool thing and the downside of the bus thing is that, like, the bus determines like where you go kind mm -hmm. of thing like mm -hmm. there's many times where i'm like i want to go to portland to like see a show and yeah. then like the splines shear off to the drums on the brakes and oh, then it's no. like luckily this happened in bend instead of like in the middle of nowhere out right. of like cell signal and stuff so then i ended up not going to portland staying, uh -huh. staying like in the bend area for like a whole month like kind of like working on the brakes and like doing various other things and okay stuff like that so. so that that actually just kind of triggered another question mm -hmm. On all your journeys with the bus, what's been the the scariest situation if you've had one hmm. uh, along you know the road, your travels? Yeah. Or or maybe not. Has it been all just good vibes all the way? Uh no, no, no. definitely not good vibes. Like this thing, <laughs> like it's a stress, very very stressful like thing to like have, but it's like always worth it, right? It's like one of those things where like as you're like driving, like I don't know, you get you kind of get used to it, uh -huh. like. Uh, it's like kind of what is it like exposure therapy kind of thing and you're just like you take you don't like even if something's like five minutes away when you get there you're like i got here like you know you don't take any like thing for granted uh -huh. um but i think like the scariest thing there wasn't like anything that actually happened like more than like the breakdowns and stuff like that was probably like i was on the job site in idaho uh on the log cabin like job site and then I was like, huh, there's like a mountain across the lake that I want to get to the top of. Uh -huh. So let's just drive this thing. And you know, like these aren't like four wheel drive vehicles and uh -huh. stuff like that. And they're pretty heavy. Uh -huh. And like, I didn't know that like most of that road was like off road, like dirt tracks kind of okay. thing and very steep. Like, and so it's just like kind of, and they're very narrow and stuff. And it's like a cliff on the other side. So like, <laughs> There's definitely, like, literally the whole time, I'm like, oh my gosh, like, I'm in first gear, and I oh, can barely, like, first. and it's, like, I can't even, like, reverse, like, if, like, yeah, so I was like, ah, oh, like, this is, like, scary going up, and then, of course, like, get to the top, uh -huh. um, I was like, oh, like, my hubcap's gone, like, that sucks, or whatever, <laughs> so I'm gonna have to look for that as I drive down, and then I'm, like, chilling in the bus at the top, and then, of course, like, some guy in an ATV is like, hello, hello, uh -huh. I think you dropped this. And no, I was like, way. no way! So oh, that's like, rad. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so that was like hearing, and then it was like really stressful when the bus wasn't starting at the top. Like, I was like, am I gonna like not get down this mountain now? Like, I have food and everything, but um, luckily, like after a while, it did start. And stuff. Oh, that's cool. And then going downhill, mm -hmm. uh, it was really steep. Like, yeah, because like I don't want to rely fully on the brakes and right, all right. that, because like, uh -huh. you never know, kind of thing. But yeah, luckily we made it down. But. That was That's a very awesome. scary kind of. I can imagine nerve wracking. Yeah. yeah. Term white knuckling it, mm -hmm. just holding onto the wheel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what? That's that's the cool thing about Volkswagens, you guys. I mean, mm -hmm. it's like, you know, you landed at the airport, you learned how to drive stick. And now suddenly, I'm hearing stories about you going up in first gear at some steep, crazy, mm -hmm. you know, cliff sided hills. I mean, that's yeah. What but they could do it. They're yeah. Built to do it. Yeah. You know, people do like the Shasta <laughs> snow trip. Like, yeah, dude, that's that's gnarly. Yeah. yeah. You Shasta guys, you guys are nuts. <laughs> <clears throat> no, yeah. that's yeah, that is crazy. I always see that and go, um, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> well, definitely on my bucket cool. list. I eventually really? want to do it. Yeah, Dude, I'm sure the guys would welcome you yeah. for sure. Okay. Yeah, and okay. uh, considering the adventures that you've done, I think you definitely you need to do it. Yeah, you know. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. no, that's cool. Yeah, Let's see if this actually works. Yeah, I need to go back up the
can. No, 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 no. Yeah, you um, usually use this thing if you like know you're gonna be like there for like a couple hours or whatever at the spot. Like so we, skater yeah, or he's a skater. <laughs> he's a skater and he's the guy that I was gonna have take a look at your bus. Okay. Oh, he's the one that um works at the yeah. shop? Okay, for sure. Nice. Design school. Um but then I like kinda got it's like my mom like me like please don't do that kind of thing. But she didn't really, she didn't know until I already bought it and like kind of um, like, no, that's cool. Yeah. Well, uh, seriously, man, this this has been a pleasure. Hopefully you guys have, you know, have enjoyed it. I mean, June stories are amazing. And um, you know, next time you're in town, if you're coming back down in the bus, uh, mm -hmm. hit us up, man. We'd love to hear, uh, you know, kind of an update on your adventures and what you've done and, and where you've been. Yeah. And uh, you guys, if you guys see them on the road, you know, hunt them down, talk to them, say hi to them, say, dude, I saw that video of your, you know, of your bus. And uh, obviously, uh, Volkswagen community, it's definitely a family community. So, you know, reach out to people on Samba. If you ever need anything, you're on your travels, man. Everyone's always so willing to help. So. Yeah. Uh, my Instagram is uh, at doodles, but it's like D and then three underscores and then D-L-E-S. Okay. Yeah. And All that's right. kind of like... Thank you so much. Thank you for your time and uh, good luck to you, man. And uh, we hope to see you down here again sometime soon, man. Yeah, thank you. All right. Thanks, cool. you guys, for watching. Yeah. Take care. See you next. Cheers.